um, so uh, the articles are no longer called as articles from S4 version uh, 1809. Uh, they are all they are called only as materials, just like the way uh, the materials are being called in the normal ECC uh, processes. So mm. Mara is the main table for the. Uh, do I also have to explain about uh, which table we are accessing and why we are accessing? For example, you must be having an idea about Mara table, right? Or do you want me to explain mm -hmm. this? Also? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Mara, two important things that uh, we will have to note in every uh, tables uh, in IA, uh, in IS detail part is that every single object that you're talking about that you're working upon always comes with the validity period. So when we say that uh, we are creating a store, we will say when the store is uh, going to open and when the store is going to close. And when we say that when an article, whenever I use the terms, uh, product article or material i'm referring to the same thing okay all the things um the store the availability of a material in a specific store the availability of purchase of a material in a specific purchase organization the availability of the sales of a specific article or product uh, in a sales organ distribution channel um, always comes with the validity in a retail that's the difference between the normal uh, mm processes and then the retail processes so what happens is um, if you say that uh, uh, let's take the example of H&M, okay, because that's where I, I used to work and that that is a very typical example. Um, if you want to uh, buy a blue color shirt uh, in a specific, uh, so let's take you're buying the uh, shirt in Sweden, that shirt will be available in Sweden only for a specific season. So it is all it always comes with the validity. Okay, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. every object in retail always comes with the validity. So let's go back to the process. I, I quickly wanted to show you that I, the materials, uh, the articles are no longer called as materials because it used to be called as articles and now it's called as uh, materials. Now let's take the case. Usually what happens is we buy the materials. The buying part is not uh, not the responsibility of IES retail consultant. Okay, the material master, the store master, and then the pricing and promotion part. These are the major uh, activities that a IS retail consultant will be doing. So we buy the materials. So materials will be uh, a text. We buy the materials and we we sell them in the stores. That's the major um, activity that ha that can happen in any retail space, right? Mm. We buy the materials. We make them available in the stores. Make them available in the stores. This is the major activity that we do, right? And when when it is being sold in the stores, we uh, we set the price and promotion in the stores, and the information should flow back to ECC, right? So both of these are um, can be in uh, residing in two different entities, or it can also reside in one entity. So there are a lot of setups that are needed to be done uh, for the materials individually mm -hmm. and it has to be made available for a specific store or sales or distribution chain as we call an is retail and from there on the sales will happen so first is making the master data available for a system making the master data available available in the system and making it uh, making the materials available materials to be available in stores and in distribution chains distribution chains are nothing but sales org and distribution channels okay um, usually what happens is in terms of emm you will always concentrate about the purchase orgs but when you are working for uh, is retail it is important that you you uh, understand the sales org uh, setup and how the sales org and distribution channel combination works i will also explain you about that mm -hmm. okay the reason is uh, is retail industry uh, or retail industry is always about um, uh, business to customers right um, let's take mm -hmm. uh, oh, I'm not able to think of an example of a manufacturer. Um, let's take Dell for example if Dell is uh, procuring something from um, I don't know um, the Intel uh, company uh, they will always be doing the business between the Dell and then the Intel company right that's a B2B business business to business they yeah. are only business uh, collaborates but when dell sells it to the customers it becomes a b2c organization so dell can work as a vendor for uh, intel normal customers but when it procures the items from intel it becomes a, a customer for intel and it is also a b2b uh, business not a b2c business whenever you talk about the b2c setup in uh, in the sap systems there always comes the process of selling and if you want to sell a material or a product in a to a specific uh, customer you should you always will do it as sales orders 
okay we yeah. will not talk a lot about sales orders here because the way uh, the assortment runs uh, happens is a little different in retail so we will never deal with the sales order straight away that's where the pause system comes into picture okay mm -hmm. so you should always understand and uh, see the things in terms of how we are going to sell it so when we want to sell a material in sap it should always be sales order and distribution chain channel combination that's one thing mm -hmm. so making the master data available when we say master Master data. We are talking about a lot of master data here. One is the material master data. Another one is the store master data. Another one is the merchandise category. Uh, uh, merchandise category is very much a specific in um, uh, IS retail, and we also call, uh, have something called as merchandise hierarchy in uh, in IS retail. This is also one of the important concepts. Not everyone uses the hierarchy concept, but it is also important to know that the hierarchy concept is available, and pricing. And promotion is also uh, a master data in IS retail. These are the major uh, master data that we will always be uh, dealing with. Store master data. Even in the first session, I told that uh, it always com comprises the vendor master data as well as the customer master data. So whenever we sp uh, speak about stores, it, we are always talking about three different objects. One is the customer, and uh, second is the vendor, and third is the store master process as of the, as it is. So these are the basic master data that are available uh, or that we will have to know when we are dealing with the IS retail processes. Now, if I open the content um, process here, the course uh, content has the article master data, if you see here, because it used to be the term uh, earlier. And uh, we are also having something called as assortments. Assortments is also a very interesting topic and assortments is the one which determines which material has to be available in uh, which specific store or in which specific distribution chains. And we will look through the uh, different uh, ways of creating the assortments and how the assortments has to be handled. Mm -hmm. And um, do you have any idea about Tricat also? Uh, have you work, uh, have worked in Tricat no. by any chance in the past? Uh, okay, no. Tricat is um, Tricat is nothing but the price catalog item. If you, for example, if you go to Tanishk in India today, uh, they will give you a catalog, right? The catalog will yeah. comprise of the item as well as its corresponding price. For example, if you want to uh, own a retail store in your own place, for example, if you own something called as Sai Retails, and if you plan to sell Nike and Adidas uh, shoes, for example, what you will do is you mm -hmm. will look through the catalogs of Nike and, uh, and Adidas, and you will not buy all of those, right? You will buy, for example, if they have 10,000 models of um, uh, shoes from Nike, and if they have 10,000 models of shoes from Adidas, you will look through their catalog you will look through the pro uh, prices of those specific uh, materials and then you will order the ones which you are interested in right exactly. this information yeah. prices catalogs and um, uh, price catalog along with the material information is called as pri uh, pricat uh, information the way that is being uh, that can be handled or uh, we have a number of ways where we can get interacted with the vendors as well as where we can sell it to the uh, customers so the basic information is called as a pricat here price catalog together is called as pricat so these are the mm -hmm. major master data that are available in sap is retail process not it is not restricted only uh, to this okay um, sometimes we also have um, seasons uh, being created as uh, master data but these are the major ones which we should be aware of so uh, as is retail uh, consultants what we will have to know is how the materials are getting created how we are going to uh, create the material and how the setups and configurations are to be done in the system for the materials is the is the first part and where mm -hmm. are we going to sell those materials um, mm. are we going to sell it in stores or are we going to sell this in distribution centers or are we going to sell it straight away to the customers how we are going to sell the uh, materials uh, to the customers in which place so that's what the store master data defines about and when we have to um, sell the uh, materials uh, or our products in specific uh, store it should also carry the pricing information right it should also for example if you're selling a shirt blue color shirt let's take for, for an example you should also give the information of the size of that shirt right for example, yeah. if, the, if the size is uh, 42, you should give the information about the size and uh, you should also give the information about the color of the uh, shirt. 
you should also give the information about let's take um, uh, you have to give the information whether it is a full hand shirt or if it is a half half sleeved uh, shirt that information also you should give so what kind of specifications that you're going to give for your material is also something important and the setup of the material master data plays a very major role and we will look through all of the configurations for that 